In this session, you'll see how to use the math boxes within the Notes application. Create a new document and insert a Notes application. Notes can be used for text. Type the heading Triangles. Now press Menu, select Insert, Math Box. Notice there is a shortcut, Control and M. In the Maths box, I'll assign A equal to 10, and then press Enter. The variable A is now obviously equal to 10, but this value can also be accessed or used in any other application. For example, you could graph Y equals X plus A, or draw a circle of radius A. For now, we'll just imagine a triangle that has, well, at least one side length equal to 10 units. We're automatically provided with a second mass box. In here I'll sign B equal to 12 and press enter. And assign C equal to 14. So I'm creating a triangle with side lengths 10, 12 and 14. We can now calculate the perimeter of the triangle. I'll type heading perimeter. And inside the mass box, I'll say P is assigned equal to A plus B plus C, and press Enter. Now go back and change the value of A. Make sure you change the input value, and press Enter. Notice that the perimeter is automatically recalculated. What about the triangle's area? Outside the mass box, type area. And inside a mass box, use Heron's formula. Now I haven't stored the semi perimeter, but I can just divide P by 2. So we'll calculate the square root of P over 2 times brackets P over 2 minus A. times brackets p over 2 minus b times brackets p over 2 minus c then make sure you press enter to activate the mass box we can now change a b or c and both the perimeter and area of the triangle will be updated what about the angles we don't know if we're going to be using a right angled triangle. Indeed, we may not know any of the angles. But we can rearrange the cosine rule. Type the heading angle A. And inside a mass box, type the formula. The inverse cosine of A squared minus B squared minus C squared all over negative 2 times b times c. And press enter. Now you can either retype this formula for each angle, or you can copy and paste and modify. Now that we've taken the time to create such a useful notes application, you can save it. First of all, I'll save this just as a regular TI Inspire file. I'll use a document key, select File, and Save As. Now I'm going to save it again. This time I'm going to save it into something called my widgets. I'll start a new document and insert a calculator application. 
Suppose you're right in the middle of some calculations and then you need to determine the angle inside a triangle of known side lengths. Press CTRL and I. Select Widgets. Now select Triangle. And there's the Notes application that we just created. It's been inserted into the current document. You'll notice however that none of the calculations have been completed. So press CTRL A to select everything. Press Menu. Actions. And Evaluate. So not only have we created a useful Notes application for calculating all sorts of triangle properties, but you've also created your first widget. You can learn more about widgets in other tutorials. But that's all for this session. Make sure you check out our other videos and thanks for watching.